What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video. Peace and blessings to everyone that's listening. So Michael Jordan, he was fed up. And I'm not saying this to say to you guys that I know what's in MJ's mind. We don't know what he's thinking. We don't know what he's trying to build with Charlotte. But I do know his psychology, just like everyone who is listening. And MJ is about winning. He's always been about winning. Even though he's not really a great owner in regards to winning games, building a championship team. We get all that. But this move right here was one of the best moves besides drafting LaMelo Ball that he has ever made as owner. He listened. Not only that, he l- listened to the press conference. He, he didn't only just listen to the fans. He listened to the last press conference that JB did. And I bet you all that MJ was ticked off. One thing MJ does not like, you could listen to his documentaries, interviews as a player, the whole shebang. MJ dislikes excuse makers. And at last press conference, JB was making excuses like 90 going north. JB was just making up just false hope. By saying, quote unquote, well, we improved every year. But you were a 10 seed back to back years. What about getting your teeth kicked in by teams in the playing game? What about that, JB? You failed to mention that. And you have the Charlotte media, not all, but some of you guys, Rob Boone, all these other phonies out there just making excuses for this coach. I've never seen a coach who is below 500 get so much sympathy, but I'm not surprised. I'm going to tell you why I'm not surprised. They wanted a coach, meaning the Charlotte media and the people who told all LaMelo fans, it's not about LaMelo. Remember that? As soon as LaMelo was drafted, they were telling LaMelo fans worldwide, this team is not about LaMelo even though he was a top three pick, even though most of the teams who drive very high, they build around the draft picks. That's facts. They wanted LaMelo fans to be wrong so bad, but the JB defenders, even though some of them did speak out, they were quieter than a Mouse pissing on cotton. (laughs) You couldn't hear a pin drop. MJ is about winning right now. Now, I still got to see what moves he's going to do. But this is a first step in the right direction. And I heard a report that MJ's thinking about getting a new GM. Be on the lookout for that. Since he's good buddies with Mitch Kupchak and former players that played for North Carolina Tar Heels. Shout out to the Tar Heels. What he is going to do is politely let go of Mitch Kupchak. They're going to say something like, and watch it, it probably be reported. They're probably going to say that Mitch Kupchak resigned. But that's code word for silently being fired. So they don't make Mitch Kupchak look bad. That's exactly what's going to happen. Just watch. Now, if MJ miraculously keeps Mitch Kupchak. Oh, that's that's a problem right there. That is a big problem. But I doubt it. You can't keep the GM after you fired a head coach. 
after this team was getting blown out multiple years in playing games, failure to build around young players like Book Knight, JT Thor, and others. Paula tricking all season with the so-called teacher's pets. Y'all know who they are. The crazy part is LaMelo should have never had a head coach like James Borrego from the start. He had two losing seasons before he got drafted, meaning LaMelo Ball. Then he couldn't even get his jersey number. That's strike two. And then you spot playing him in his minutes. What he averaged, what, 31 minutes a game? 31, 32 minutes a game? That's not enough for a starting point guard, a franchise point guard. What did I say on Raw Truth Media on the show many times? 35 and up. I'm being nice. That's the type of minutes LaMelo need to be playing. But JB, as he always does, want to play his favorites. And it cost him 10 games. But look at all the coaches that are available. Mark Jackson, who should have been having a head coaching job. He couldn't even get an assistant job. And I don't care who disagrees or not, he was white balled by the NBA. All because he thinks differently than others. No matter what someone's faith is or what they believe in, the goal should remain the same in professional sports. Can you get me a victory? Can you win games? How about Sam Cassell, who should have been a head coach a long time ago? Would be perfect for this team. Is doing a great job with the 76ers as an assistant coach. Doesn't get in the way of his players. Let the players be themselves. Has good chemistry with the players on the team. They can talk to him about anything. That's real culture right there. Frank Vogel. Now, I know the Lakers had a bad season, but I watched the Lakers this past year, and they had a bad season because the team was old as hell. Most of the players on the roster were in the upper room. (laughs) For those who have listened to my show, y'all know what that means. They were old as dirt. You can't win this league having a super old roster. You got to have balance and age. Frank Vogel was a scapegoat. If the the Hornets hire Frank Vogel, I'm going to tell you where you're going to get it. He's going to allow LaMelo to be himself. He never really gets in a player's way. Now, he needs an offensive coach. But defensively, he'll have that fix in an instant. Again, the Hornets would have to help him find an offensive assistant to help complement his defensive coaching ability. And someone just suggested it on the stream, me and Coach Joe did the other day. How about Earl Watson giving him a second chance? Now, before you overreact, that roster that it, Earl Watson had. You you wouldn't win anything with that type of roster. A lot of coaches would have lost a lot of games with a defunct roster that the Suns had at the time. But if you give Earl Watson a chance, a a fully developed roster with bigs, a starting lineup where the shortest player is 6'6", Again, you got a 6'7 point guard, Charlotte Hornets. Why in the hell are you having Oompa Loompa size guards that don't want to defend? I'm telling you right now, if the Charlotte Hornets are 6'5, 6'6 or above, with seven foot centers, they'll be able to switch. Rotations are smooth. And especially if you get a 3 and D player that are focused on their job, it makes everything right. And it will let the whole organization and the team know that this team is revolved around LaMelo Ball, as it should. But I can't wait to see the moves that MJ makes. 
uh, I think he realizes he has a good thing with LaMelo. He's not trying to mess it up. I know he doesn't want LaMelo in the end of his contract to go to another team. So he's doing the right thing now. I just wish they would have done it two years ago. But hey, got to worry about the present. That's all that matters. But if you're a LaMelo fan, a Hornet fan, you got to be happy. It's a new day. This is Raw Troop Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. And I'm out.